Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. What's special about today, Miss Sophie? See baby's eggs. Yeah, Just they, one's brown. Yeah, they look like Do baby's eggs. Do these fit, Sophie? They're her old ones, I think. Yeah. No, they were my new ones when I had the zip up side. We need to find a home for these riding boots. It is Wednesday morning. Girls are riding today. I'll find out when I ride this week. Super exciting for me. Anyway, we're up in the attic looking for stuff again. And guys, I found horse stuff. We found more horsey stuff that we didn't put in our video. We have her. We have her. And a whole lot of other ones. Anyway, we are up here looking for new, for more stuff, but it's not horsey stuff. It's homeschool stuff. I'm looking for my agenda. What? I'm looking. I'm looking for a dress for our special guest. You never thought that you would ever hear the words come out of Gabby's mouth that were I'm looking for a dress <laughs> for a special guest. Right. It's not for her, so don't get excited. <laughs> That I don't like dresses. We're looking for some Halloween costumes that we have. I have a huge selection of princess dresses from when the girls are little. And I'm excited. There's one missing that I really love and so we're looking for that. And we're looking for homeschool stuff. I need a few of the things that I think I packed away up here. I don't know. But anyway, that's what we're doing. Alright you guys, a thumbs up this video. If you think Toby should be a dinosaur. I found this adorable dinosaur costume. Thumbs up if you think Macy should be a lightsaber. Pumpkin. Macy's gonna be a pumpkin. No, she isn't. She's gonna oh, be it looks cute, so. So we Sophie found a witch costume, and we have lots of capes. It's kind of tight on your belly. Yeah, I'm right here. But it it shows ah! your butt. Let's see, turn around, let me see your butt. No, the butt is cute. Anyway, we found this witch costume. I love the sleeves. Let's see the no, sleeves. No, 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 Toby, let me get out. No, that is way too big for Toby. Macy's, remember? Macy yeah. has it. Yeah, but, Macy's. but it's for a boy. I want to use it for Toby. But girls can be dinosaurs. Girls can like, be dinosaurs. There is dinosaurs that are girls. Yeah, it's true. There are dinosaurs that can be girls. Well, imagine if we had a matching one, but Toby you size. You that? Imagine if we had a matching one, but Toby size. Okay, it's true that all dogs are equal. Boys can dress up like girls, and girls can dress up like boys. We're, we don't have problems with that, but I want Toby to not wear a dress. I want him to have a boy type of costume. All right, you guys. Tell me the truth. Oh, he wants me to pick him up. He's like, help me, mama. Help me. Put it's him cute over when there. he runs. Okay, put him over there. Tell me, is this the cutest little dinosaur you've ever seen in your whole life? Come on, Toby. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. He's like, help me. Help me. I posted some pictures on Instagram of him in his costume with his little tongue hanging out to the side. Cutest thing ever. You guys should check that out. We are just getting ready to go to riding lessons, and I wanted to give a quick update on Bailey Bird. Here he is, just roaming around underneath his crate, underneath his cage, checking things out. He's saying, don't look at me, you guys. I know I'm not perfect. Don't stare at me. So basically, how are you feeling about Bailey? Good. Okay, so I'm not feeling quite as good. So basically, he stays on the deck most of the day, on the porch most of the day. He will literally go over to that door and poke it with his beak to get our attention. Flap his wings. When he's hungry, he picks the door. When he's hungry and we ignore him at the door, he flies to the window and he pecks the window. I posted a video on that on Instagram. I think I actually vlogged it. Yeah, I think I actually vlogged it in a previous vlog, right? We did that. So, do you think he's funny? Yeah. Yeah, he is super funny. And we have to let him in his cage. Okay, so that's the big problem. The big problem is, is that I want him to go and explore and be hungry so he can find his own food but he doesn't do that he doesn't go off and try and find his own food he comes to me and i uh, suck at saying no do i suck at saying no <laughs> yes to him or to you too to him do i say no to you a lot uh -uh. well you do but not that much and i need you got it, mommy. Yeah, she makes this. I'm not as easy of a target as dad. Whenever dad leaves the house to go shopping, Sophie jumps in the car with him. We are 
at the horse barn, you guys. And we can't find Fiona. Anyway, our instructor is not here at the barn. So at the riding arena, so we're gonna walk Daddy, down to the barn and see if we can find her. I wanted to catch you guys up on the pony that she we asked her to look at for us too. Yeah, I saw So her. basically we asked her to look at a little white port pony that was 14.1 hands high. I asked a lot of you guys if you thought it would be a good horse for us and you mostly all said yes, just to lease. Anyway, so she looked at it and she said that she, she actually knows the pony and... It's way too much pony. And what? It's way too much pony. It's way too much horse for us, so not a good thing but she did say she might have something to talk to me about imagine you're in your house playing on your iPad and then it's time for your lesson and all you have to do is walk out of your house and ride your bike down to the barn because you're already here the little girls that live at this farm that's what they do they just come out when it's their t riding time and go to the barn or go down to the barn and get their horses and they have to do the chores wouldn't that be so fun though would it be fun? Yeah. Would you want to do chores? Not really. Would you ride your bike? <laughs> they ride their bikes down, um, park their bikes, and grab their horses. Well, do their chores, grab their horses, walk them up without their bike. And then they walk their horses back down after their lesson, and then walk it back, feed it, do whatever. Yeah, that's a lot of work, do but it would be so worth it. Ben says the pony. Gabby might be riding him. But he's the oldest here, and he's a hungry, hungry boy. Super cool. <laughs> hey, Ziggy. Hello. Hey, Ziggy. It was eight you riding, Ziggy? Yep. Oh, cool. He likes to work. And so my daddy came out to get the Get your brushes. Don't put your fingers in his mouth. Daddy you put it in the back of his mouth, not in his mouth. Open his mouth from the back where his teeth aren't. How <laughs> many people does it take on to put a bridle? We can't do it, but you're gonna have to. Oh, don't stick your fingers in there, kind of so. Yeah, you gotta put it in the back. 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 Yeah, you gotta put it in Go we'll fix this. Fix this top part. Pumping the saddle and then through the 
our butt. Go ahead now. Take your feet up. Pull your toes up. Keep those toes pulled up. That's what's going to keep you in that saddle. That's it. Grip right above your knees on your thighs. That's what's holding you in. Toes up. Whoa. You okay? She said she felt like she's going to fall off. I think I'm gonna fall off. Feels like I'm gonna fall off. Good job. Okay. Could be sore tomorrow. Be sore You're gonna have something sore. That's the thing to have sore. And yeah. You all right? Don't look too happy. <laughs> How was it? Fell off? Cut back up, and we're five. She wants to go home and soak in the Epsom salts. You do? So Sophia fell. Um, hopefully Sam caught it on the camera and you got to see it. It's the first time that I've ever felt afraid or nervous because she just laid there and I got tears in my eyes and I felt sick to my stomach. I think honestly it was probably my scariest moment as a parent to the girls anyway it was scary anyway her coach has a rule and the rule is if you fall off you either go to the hospital or you get back on those are the two rules did you hear the rules poor Sophie and her poor butt is it broken probably gonna have a bruised butt how'd you feel about falling Sophia, wait how did Sophie fall like on her butt then it rolled over or did fell? You Flat. I think it just went flat. No, Ooh. I fell on this side. Ooh. Oh, so you went like ah! what? Like, ah! What? I thought you were sleeping. <laughs> I knew no stirrups was a bad <laughs> thing. Plants I was like, cool. I get one filling to both of the sides. Tried um, no stirrup trotting and that's when it all I went down. No stirrup. We always so, bring a trunk full of water when we come here so the girls can have a drink. Um, so I fell on this side, like more right here, 
when you fell? Yeah, when I fell. Did it knock the breath out of you? No. Did I it, didn't feel anything. Did it knock the breath out of you? Did it knock the breath out of you, Sophie? <laughs> she. That was fun. I can't wait to watch the footage. She can't wait to watch the footage. It was funny, but it wasn't so funny for poor Sophia. Is that what happens with sisters? All right, we're at the store and we are getting Epsom salt. I'm looking for some. We want some really stinky Is that stuff. Yeah, that's it. But we want some nice stuff. So he's in a lot of pain. Her butt is aching. All right, let's get it. You guys ever do that thing where when you get home from some place, you just don't want to get out of the car, so you just hang out in the car for you like a half that. an hour? We stay out. I do do that. I do that, and then the girls get out of the car and they ride their bikes and they play, and I'm all cozy and warm in the car, and they're all cold outside. While I was in here, I was uh, responding to comments on Instagram. I posted some pictures from our barn visit today. And Madison underscore equestrian 10 wants to know, what is it Baloo? Like B-A-L-L-O, I think she said. Or is it Blue, B-L-U-E? Well, I learned today Wait, that... Wait, his name? Yeah. It's B-L-U-E. Yeah, it's Blue, B-L-U-E. And I learned today that when his owner bought him, he was at an auction and he had a blue stripe down his back from the people at the auction. So I don't know why they did that, just to classify him or something. And he was so dirty, he was almost Normal. black when she bought him. So she saw the blue stripe on him and she called him Blue. Did you know that, Gabby? No. Yeah, so that's Never how. Never knew that about my pony. No, and Gabby got to ride Baby blue. Never refused job, student. Good boy. Gabby got to ride blue today. Comment of the day in the car. So comment of the day goes to Emily Cartridge. Emily Cartridge. And her comment says, she must be a new subscriber, because she says that I've been watching the vlogs for a little while now and I really enjoy them. I've been riding for an extremely long time and I have my own horse. In my opinion, the girls and you need a lot more experience to own or lease a horse. It takes a lot of knowledge, medical feeds, and general care. Also, the girls need to be able to give the horse enough exercise. I would definitely recommend a pony or an old school master that can teach the girls more than they no, can bye. teach it. Especially if you do buy a pony, take someone extremely experienced and they should help you during the time you own own it. As a first pony, do not get a large horse because one saying I've always been taught, bigger the horse, bigger the problem. Also, the girls being as young as they are won't be able to care for it themselves, so you and Sam will have to be extremely knowledgeable. Best of luck. Always contact me if you need any more advice. So that was very nice of you to leave that comment for us. And the reason I chose that comment is because I've been getting a lot of comments like this because we have a lot of new subscribers. So basically, I just want to tell you guys what our plan is so that you guys know and feel comfortable. Um, our goal is to lease a horse for right now. Anyway, when we do get a lease horse, hopefully it will be really soon. Um, we will be staying at our barn. Our coach will be there. Our coach will be helping us every single step of the way. We'll be learning everything that we need to do to lease the horse from our coach. So it's not like we're just gonna get a horse and go there and not know what we're doing. We're gonna learn and this is how we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn hands on. We're gonna be able to go to the barn twice a day, three times if we want. We're gonna be, because we homeschool, we have so much more time. We are gonna be able to go riding in the morning. We're gonna be able to go riding at night if we want. So that is our plan with the horse. We're not gonna lease a horse and then just take it home or take it to our own farm. We all get along by falling off. Those are learning by falling off. But anyway, I hope that makes you feel a little bit better. Trust me, I don't want to do anything I'm not ready for. Um, and anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. And the girls just left me in the car. So I guess I'll say goodnight and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.